Today we are outside of Cougar Country, a local restaurant that has plans to expand on campus to the Cub. Today we'll be sitting down with owner Mike to talk about his plan for the Pullman Staple. So Cougar Country was started in 1973 uh, by a gentleman named Roy, Ray Stevenson. He owned a bowling alley and a Dairy Queen in Omak, Washington, and he got tired of paying royalties to Dairy Queen. So he packed his family up and drove all around the state trying to find a place to start a pseudo Dairy Queen. And they were coming down the hill, coming into town, and, and at that time there was a, a apartment complex called Cougar Country. So there was a big billboard saying, welcome to Cougar Country. And he saw that and he said, this is where we're gonna be. So they built it from scratch and started it up and it's been, they ran it for years and years and then oh when was that 2019 february they closed and that same month we approached the owners about purchasing it and then how is it since from 2019 from getting in to here how is kind of the journey been? well it's it's always every day is kind of a learning process and uh, i really rely on my uh, my team members to keep everything going up and running so when the pandemic hit, we were already, um, we already do takeout and drive through. So it kind of fit for us right in there. So we kept on going, kept on going, kept on going. So we made it through the pandemic and then uh, we got opened up and it increased our business even more. And now with the students back and the football games, it's really helped. Sure. And then what kind of sparked the motivation to open up a location at the club as well? Well, um, I don't know if you know our history like with uh, Zoe Coffee and mm -hmm. Kitchen, but we used to be in the, or on the campus and it was probably the most popular spot on campus. And we sold tons of coffee, tons of burgers, we sold beer, we sold wine. I remember saying to one of the administrators, I said, you just wait one of these days, I'm gonna be in the reunion location. And they said, not gonna happen. <laughs> so, anyway, administrations come and go, but you know, Poland people are still here. So, right. um, And then this summer, the, the university put out an opportunity for um, announcement of opportunity for a location in the food court up, upstairs. Mm -hmm. And it was the old pizza place. So we made our presentation and basically at the end I said, honestly, I don't think it's gonna work because <laughs> it's too small. And then one of the vice presidents said, actually, Mike, we were thinking of a different location for you. If you would be willing to look at the, the old reunion and uh, gridiron. So I said, well, we could take a look at it, but you know. So after we did a lot of negotiation with them, they we came up with an agreement that was very favorable for both of us. And that's where we're at today. Wow, you really beat like every unlikely circumstance. So <laughs> they told you you could it and here they are. Well, <laughs> I, I, it, it, like I said, it, the folks there are wonderful people and it's a whole different ball game right now. So um, we really appreciate all that they've done for us. Yeah, sure. And what can students expect from this location the well, um, I can I call it the best of both worlds. We're going to have the best of Zoe Coffee there mm -hmm. and the best of Cougar Country. So we'll open up at 7:30 or whenever the Cub opens, whatever day it is, and we'll serve all of our specialty drinks, all that, and we'll also have a really good number of uh, breakfast items. So get off the bus. We've got to eat breakfast, you come in, get your coffee, get a breakfast sandwich or a breakfast bowl, and on with your day. So there'll be exclusive items off the club location as opposed to Joey's yeah. or Cougar Country. That's right. Yeah, best of both worlds. Yeah. One and location. milkshakes, ice cream cones, all kinds of ice cream treats. Very cool. So, so the, I feel like that's an area that's kind of missing from the pub dining so far and everything they have to offer. So. So exciting. Well, yeah, the we're excited piece about to the it. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And then, yeah. do you want to tell me a little bit about the different job opportunities for students? Sure. Um, we are looking to hire probably between 40 to 50 people. And right now, we've hired 12. 
So we're hoping to, at the very least, to have the coffee aspect open and maybe some breakfast items before the next football game. So what you're saying is if you want to enjoy Zoe's and Career Country and the Cub, you got to get the people up there to That's right. tell your friends to buy. That's right, yeah. Coffee? You can't open if you don't have people to make coffee. Right. Yeah. Why, in your own words and your own beliefs, do you think that people should buy from Career Country slash Zoe's, especially at this specific location? Well, uh, it's for one thing it's a local business and it's it's different from all the chains in that we cook everything fresh here too so it takes a little longer to get your food but you have to know that you know we're not just pulling it off a rack and putting it in a bag and putting it out there so um, we take a lot of love and a lot of care and putting everything together and it, they're just darn good burgers too so <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I'm so excited for the opening day to finally come. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to share? Or... Oh, I just say, you know, go Cougs and, and uh, go Cougs down to Coor Country. <laughs> Pick up an application or, you know, there's we have QRs all over the place. You can uh, just go there. It takes you right to our application form. So we're looking forward to meeting everybody. And uh, we're putting together an awesome team full of rock stars so far. So awesome. we're really happy about that.